Welcome back everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add a simple uh, bounding box collision and world collision to your sprite. So by now I think you have an, uh, an idea on how Construct 2 works. One thing I forgot to mention is that anytime you add an object here it comes up in this objects windows right there. Uh, it gives a little thumbnail and the name of it of the actual object here. And so basically once you have a whole bunch of games objects you can actually select them. Uh, from this window right here. So, right now if we run the game, let's just see what happens. Well, the mammoth pretty much goes wherever he wants. It's kind of a free-range mammoth. And as you probably have played in games before, you know, you can actually you can actually go past the, the world screen here. So I'm just going to move this mammoth around. But what we want to do is we want to make sure there's a collision there um, to actually stop him from going outside. So let's go back to Construct, click on the sprite, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to Edit Behaviors, Add Edit, push the green plus button right there, and you get, get this uh, Add Behavior window, and you go Bound to Layout, simply, and all this does is this will bound it to the layout. Okay, so let's do that, and let's give it a shot. So push F5, alright, Collision. Can't go outside. Collision. Can't go outside. Wait a minute. Why can he do that? And he can go down here too. So there is a reason why he can do that, or he collides with this and this, but not the this. And I'll show you why. Let's go back to construct two. Now you probably notice there's a blue. Uh, there's a light blue area around the white area. Well, the white area is the gameplay, and the blue area is outside the gameplay. And you notice that on this side, he was colliding, because he was colliding with the blue. Because the layout here is huge. So, let's try this. Um, let's take this down. So, if we go up to here, we go layout size, and you see it's kind of big right now. So, if we divide that by 2, that should be 640. And make sure the comma's there. And if we divide this by 2, it should be 512 and math comes to the rescue yet again okay but you notice how there's that gray box there so it's kind of uh, it's kind it this gray box here is basically the camera and this is the actual window so if we do this as you can see the collision is not as smooth down here. That's because the if you look at the blue, it's right there. So what's going on there? Well, it's very simple. Um, this here, so let's go to view, and we click that, and we go window size. So the window size is 640, and that meshed up uh, quite well, and by 480. So what we're going to actually do is instead of changing the window size, we're just going to change this. And so all this is going to be is 480. And we're just going to make this for now. We can always change this later. And as you can see, the window size um, came down or uh, shrunk to the actual size of the window. Or sorry, the layout shrunk to the size of the window. Okay, so if we push F5, and here we go. The collision works. And now we have a mammoth, and he stays on screen. Very good. All right. And he does a flip because we did a good job. Yay. Okay. Um, that's it for our tutorial. Thank you very much.